afternoon. Mark Simmons here, um, Chief Strategist at Mix Digital. Friday afternoon, working out of my home office before I end for the day. Just wanted to take a little time to talk about the Pepsi uh, advertisement debacle, nightmare, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think by now everyone has seen the ad featuring Kylie Jenner uh, at a made-up protest where she gives a can of Pepsi to a police officer at the very end, and, and that just solves all the problems. Well, didn't solve the problem for Pepsi. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I honestly think that it was well-intended in its genesis, and I think that along the creative process, it went askew. And what I mean by that is that someone probably had to say, this isn't a good idea. It's, it's not a good idea to make light of a very serious issue. And we're not sure if this was strictly uh, Black Lives Matter or if it was immigration or what, because it's hard to tell. Um, but what they executed was a scene in which people were dancing and uh, partying at a protest that was supposed to be about a very serious topic and they just turned it into something that was a joke you know Pepsi comes off as insensitive and as an advertiser you never want to you don't want to come off as insensitive I think as an advertiser you want to stay away from something so controversial and so polarizing um, at our agency you know we don't we don't touch those topics we don't touch police violence, immigration, women's rights, religion, politics. We stay away from that uh, when it comes to designing creative for our clients. There's plenty more that we can draw from to get the point across that our clients' products are, be are the best, their services are the best. There's no need to lean on or take advantage of popular social issues, right? we can find other trending topics that are from maybe pop culture that are funny, humorous, and not hurting anyone or not being seen as insensitive. And that's really where it comes off with Pepsi. Um, you know, from an advertiser perspective, again, Pepsi made a mistake. And they, they realized that when they pulled the ad in and they apologized. Now, Pepsi's a behemoth, so they can withstand this temporary hit to their reputation. Uh, you know, there was a lot of backlash on social media, a lot of people upset, threatening to boycott and never drink Pepsi again and, and this and that. But Pepsi will survive because Pepsi is extremely well diversified and huge. Now, we work with companies that are not Pepsi, that are not as huge. And if this was a small business or, you know, a, a larger small business, this could take a significant chunk out of them and it could put them out of business. You do something like this and it could hurt you. So, you know, we take the conservative route when it comes to creating our advertisements for our clients and we don't touch, we don't go anywhere near this type of stuff because the negative response could be huge. It could be debilitating and catastrophic um but pepsi you know pepsi decided to go for it and and no one stopped them along the way it makes you wonder what happened during the process did anyone raise their hand and say oh this might not be such a good idea this might not be the best messaging to put across the best way to uh show unity as we as as they wanted to as they said they wanted to show um maybe we should think of a different plan I wonder if that happened. You know, I wonder if someone raised their hand and said, no, this is not a good idea, and they were just silenced. I wonder if no one said anything. It makes you question what happened with the, the Pepsi marketing team and what happened with their agency. Where were the checks and balances? Where was the common sense to say that, you know, this is a serious issue, one that people feel very passionately about, and and this is this advertisement is going to trivialize it. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Well, who knows what happened? The truth may never come out, but uh, let us learn this lesson, right? Let us learn this lesson that you don't touch upon these types of issues. You stay away from them as far as you can 
so that you don't put yourself at risk. Um, and I, I hope that many people out there in the advertising world uh, have seen this, you know, have learned this lesson and have seen this as a, a case study and what not to do. You know, we certainly have taken notice and uh, expect others will too. But that's it. That's all I wanted to say on the on the topic. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.